We saw a little clip of one of my favorite uh, songs from the Mark Tornillo era of Accept, but of course I know him originally as the lead singer of the legendary band T.T. Quick. Then he, he got all grown up and he replaced uh, Uta Dirk Schneider in the band Accept. I think it's been about uh, probably about 11 years uh, in the, the legendary German metal band Accept. Please welcome to that Jameson show, Mark Tornillo. What's up, buddy? How we doing, Don? Hanging in Hello. there, brother. Hanging in. It. Congrats on the new music. Thank you so much. So this, uh, the album is out, uh, what is it, January 15th, is it? 15th it comes out, yeah. Okay. So what is, it's 11 years now, Mark? You're in Accept? Uh, let's see. Blood of, the, Blood of the Nations came out in 2010. Yeah. I guess they announced early 2009 that I was the singer, so, yeah. You know. It, man, I, I'll never forget, man, because I remember, you know, after Udo kind of finally said, I'm not doing it anymore. That's it. I'm done for sure. A hundred percent. Eddie Trunk and I were having a conversation and I, I, we, I think we both sort of said at the same time, if there was ever a guy that they wanted to put in that band, it would be it would be Mark Tornillo, our buddy from TT Quick. And sure enough, you know, maybe it was a year later or two years later, I'm at a gig and Eddie calls me. I'm about to go on stage and he goes, you're never going to guess who I'm having on my radio show to announce as the, the new lead singer of Accept. <laughs> it was you, brother. And I was, I, I was so fucking happy for you, man. And I can't, it's amazing that it's come this long. I remember coming up and doing the, doing the That Metal Show where I, in the Where Are They Now segment. Yeah. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. And look at you now. Big shot. There you go. Um, so, and, 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 that. and it's been great because it's been great consistency, you know, with what you guys have been doing, just not, in, not only in terms of the quality, but, but you've been putting out releases, you know, every couple of years, like clockwork. Is there, is there a certain formula you guys uh, work under? No, it's basically basically we're going back to what we did in the '80s, what everybody did, you know, back in the day. Uh, you know, the the whole thing was when I joined the band, Wolf did not want the band to rest on its laurels and only go out and you know play the uh, the classics. He wanted a real band. Yeah. Um, so we've been, you know, album tour, album tour, just like the way it always was. Yeah, well, but, you know, a lot of times, uh, yeah, a lot of times bands, they, they do, they, did Mark, do we lose Mark? Was he still there? Okay. Uh, I lost him on my, I lost him on my, sorry, I lost you on my screen, man. Um, yeah, no, and, and, and dude, that, I mean, that's, that's something that has extended the life of so many of our classic bands that we love through any kind of lineup changes, you know, Saxon's another band that always continues to put out new music. They don't just want to play denim and leather, you know, strong arm of the law and all that stuff. So, you know, it, it's been, it's been such a cool thing to the point where it's, you know, it almost is a, a separate band at this point. I mean, you guys have now made classic songs. Like I played a little from the song pandemic before, which is obviously very prophetic <laughs> at this point. Right. I guess so. Rise of Chaos wasn't far behind either. Yeah, the Rise of Chaos too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you, you ever think that that song would come back to be <laughs> to be so uh, uh, poignant at this point in, in history? We'll see what kind of prophecy comes on this new one, man. Yeah, you yeah. never know. Yeah, it's well, a song called Zombie Apocalypse. So we'll see what happens. Mark, <laughs> Mark that could be the, that could be the next thing that happens. I mean, <laughs> We, we, you know, there was a point where uh, I think people in Florida, they were getting a little too much access to meth and they were like eating each other's faces off. So we were, we were kind of nice. close, but, you know, maybe, maybe after this album rocks the world. Um, hey, I'm ready for 2020. I'm ready for anything at this point, man. Man, for it to be over. Yeah, but, you know, 2020, you know, and, and that's the thing, man. It's such a. It's such a weird time, obviously, to release music because you can't go on tour on it. But but hopefully, you know, that the album coming out mid-January and, and maybe, you know, are there any plans for Accept? Anything tentative even? 
There was. Um, I mean, supposed to be going to Japan in January, and then from there to Germany and start an actual tour. But it looks like uh, all those plans are going to the dirt. Japan has definitely been postponed. Uh, I have not heard anything definite about Germany, but I don't see it happening. We've got confirmed festival shows for next year. So, I mean, that's looking like it might happen, yeah. hopefully, if they get this vaccine going. Yeah, and and I've had a, a chance to live with the album, you know, for for a week or so now, and um, you know, again, the, the consistency is really there. That's why I say, man, there's got to be. It's that German precision, man. There's got to be some formula to what oh. you guys do, man. It's like, because uh, you know, Wolf being really the the last remaining original member, he he definitely has a very strong vision of what what he wants to do. Uh, but, but, you know, you, you see a lot with, with a lot of bands, it's the combo, the, the guitarist and the singer. And so, you know, you guys, you know, working together, you know, how has that, you know, grown over the years? It's, it's grown quite a bit. I mean, we've got a, you know, a great mutual respect for each other and for our talents. And, uh, this, this album was a total collaboration. Uh, this is the first one that, you know, first accept album without Peter. So that was a big, you know, a big gap to fill. Um, but everybody stepped up. Martin contributed quite a bit. And our new bass player, Martin Montnick, yep. contributed by, quite a bit to this album, as did, uh, and, and Phil plays, you, well, you know Phil, right? Phil Schaus, yeah. Not a Phil's We've had him on. Oh, man, it's so great to be able to play. When we've only done a handful of shows, six piece, and they were just amazing because you got that double lead, you got him and Wolf, and, and you've got solid rhythm guitar, and it's just like you can do anything. Yeah. And what's crazy with, with Phil um, is that um, his first shows with you guys were when you did the, the, the concert with the symphony, which, which is symphony that's tour, yeah. the most, you, you hear about this a lot with these, with, with these new players coming in at, uh, like on the most craziest of the shows ever. And, and Phil certainly, you know, he's got to learn a whole new catalog of music and he's got to play with the symphony. That's incredible. Yeah, that, that was a lot to learn. That, I mean, that probably see, sealed the deal for him, huh? Definitely, definitely. After after the symphony tour last year with him, it was it was just the wolf just didn't want to let him go. Yeah. So, well, yeah. If you like, if you can come in and and really pull pull that off at a high level, yeah, you can't let a guy like that go. Although it's funny, Mark, because it's like you know, here's this here's this classic German heavy metal band, but now you have you got a little Jersey in there, you got a little Tennessee in there, but yet it still sounds like Accept. Yeah, it does, but it's but it's uh, well, we're half and half. We got three Americans and three Germans, so. <laughs> well, that's good because it's all about diversity these days, right, Mark? <laughs> it's good. Yeah, so I hear. It's good. You're <laughs> like the Joe Biden cabinet now. It's a it's very diverse in the band, except now. Oh my! So, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so uh, yeah, so the new uh, the new album, um, "Too Mean to Die," and. Um, and so there's a mystery going on now, which which you don't have a lot in rock and roll anymore. There's no mystery or mis mystique because of social media. But you guys did a cool thing, which is um, there's no album cover art available. If you go to, um, you know, like if you go to Apple Music or wherever, um, and you you could go and 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 or pre-order the album, but it's there's a white album cover and in red letters it says no album cover available. What's the story behind that? Well, it is available now. Uh, it's just probably not available on those outlets. Uh, the you cover's had like been a released. contest, right? I'm sorry. You sort of had a contest for it, or a uh, right? Wasn't there? If yeah. you downloaded there enough was. songs, you would r reveal a piece of the the album. Yeah, and they did that, and uh, we had the contest winners. We had a Zoom meeting with them last week, and. Uh, now we're doing this nuclear blast is doing what they're calling our except advent calendar. Okay. <laughs> and so every day in December, you click on the day and you can open a door and you'll get a snippet of, uh, of a song or a clip of one of us talking or somebody talking about the band. And, you know, uh, it, it's, it's really cool. It's a really cool promotion and it seems to be working really well. 
Um, it, you have to go to, uh, what is it, to, I think it's uh, Accept Worldwide Too Mean to Die, I think is the website. It's easy to find. It's all over, you know, Instagram and Facebook. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, and um, the cover is there. What's uh, and the co- okay? So the cover has been revealed, uh, and I haven't even seen it yet, but that's okay. Um, I'll check it out when I get home. Uh, the first, uh, the first single that came off the album. Let's play some of the the video while I talk to Mark about it. Um, you know, look, you, you, this is not uh, shiny happy people here. And except this is uh, <laughs> you come right out of the gate with the Undertaker. Um, and, uh, so, and yeah, and it's uh, aptly shot in, a, in an old, uh, cemetery there. What's the, what's the story behind this video, Mark? The, uh, the video itself was actually shot in Poland, from what I understand, the scripted part. Okay. We, uh, all of us were in, uh, in Nashville recording and we went out to, uh, yeah, an old, uh, there's an old um, ancient, like Confederate um, cemetery in Nashville, in the Hermitage. I think Andrew Jackson's buried there, actually. Okay. And uh, that's where we filmed. This part here was filmed in Poland, and they put it all together. I mean, it was during the pandemic. We couldn't even get Uva over here, you yeah. know? So that's why there's only yeah. the five of us in the video. Okay, yeah. But uh, this song was written long before COVID, so... Where, was some, we, we, where was this? we were going to do it anyway. Screw it. Was this for the uh, Was this for the Rise of Chaos album originally? The song? No, no. It was just It was just written last year. Well, actually, I wrote I wrote these lyrics last year when we were on tour, okay. uh, doing the symphony tour. What, what, it, what was it inspired by the wrestler, or what, were you uh, in? Was it your cemetery phase at the time? You know, that's funny, man. It, it, it was inspired, actually, by a text uh, with Gabby, you know, Wolf's wife, Gabby. Yeah. And she had, we were texting about something while we were on tour, and she sent me a text that said, well, The Undertaker's a busy man. And I went, yeah, and I texted her back another line. Yep, sips us all like grains of sand. And she <laughs> sent something else back. I went, oh, it's on. Boom. So I wrote I wrote it as a poem. I wrote, it was like four the three or four stanzas and they were long yeah so when we were looking for material for the new album i just sent the poem to wolf i really didn't think twice about it that he was even going to do anything with it I mean, this is what we got so yeah no good great one to come out of the gate with um and 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 uh andy snape also produced this album mark yes he did can't do it without the snape yeah, it's good. Well, now I don't want to do. I don't want to dilute his uh, his his worth, but um, Andy played the intro on my newest comedy album, so I, <laughs> I don't want to dilute his 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 talents by saying he played on my album. But he has been consistent with you guys since you've been in the band. Yes, he has. Yeah. Except now he's got uh, he's got a very big head now that he's uh, the guitar player in Jesus yeah. Priest, you know. So yeah, he has to tiptoe around him. No, no, you know you don't. He's uh, man. That no, guy. he doesn't at all. So it's happy. funny though. We're sitting in, sitting in the <laughs> control room, you know, listening to stuff, and he's getting joke texts from Rob Halford while we're sitting there. It's like you know. Yeah. So. All the all the worlds colliding uh, at at the same time, but yeah, we're happy for Andy playing and pre- doing a great job, man. I probably saw six shows on um, that last tour. Yeah, he, he really, I saw quite a few, man. They were just killing. He really fell into his groove with them, man, which was cool. Um, and knowing you know who he's replacing, but you know, um, still be, being able to pull it off, and obviously having the support of the metal god and the rest of the guys and saying, yeah, you know, this is our guy. You know, we, we wish Glenn was here, but he's not. And, uh, like every band, like, except, uh, he's, uh, you know, he was welcomed in and, and, uh, the the way I understand it, it was Glenn's, I, it was Glenn's call, you know? So you guys got me, man. Who's that? I'm here. Is anybody see me or hear me? Shannon. Oh, okay. We got, sorry. Sh- we had, hold on. Yeah. Tell Shannon to hold on. So we, yeah, sh- we got Shannon from Godsmack coming on after you, Mark, but we, I got more to talk to you about. We didn't even get, so we didn't even get to TT quick yet. I mean, come on. Um, yeah, so, and, and you know, when you, when you come out of the gate, 
with an album like this, um, I don't care if you're the, the new singer, the new bass player, the new song. I don't care what job you are. When you come out of the gate with Blood of the Nations, um, you know, this is just a monster, you know. Uh, this is 2010, man. So uh, what are your memories of, of making the very first album with these guys, new singer and accept after decades of those guys with Udo? Well, it's quite the process, you know. I mean, we uh, we spent a lot of time writing and a lot of time in the studio, but the whole idea was that it had to be a monster because everybody was going, there's no possible way this can work, you know. All social media was, was on fire about yeah. it, you know. Screw you, it's never going to happen. And we had to prove them wrong. And that was all we could do. Write good songs, put out a good record, go out and do a killer tour. But but meanwhile, everybody here in Jersey knew that you can do it because we had seen you over the years with T.T. Quick and uh, Big Richard, and you always sang, you know, ACDC and Accept songs, like, and, and nailed them. Uh, so that's why, like, you know, going back to what I said to be in the show, and when Eddie and I were talking, and I thought, you know, if, if Accept could ever wanted to bring in a new singer, you, that you'd be the guy. And for people who aren't familiar with uh mark's career before except um i would feel very remiss without mentioning uh that this is still a classic album to this day tt quick metal of honor still sounds as fresh as when it came out sir yeah so, it's a good one man there they are in the back oh, look, look how young we were look at that look how beautiful they were back then <laughs> And all still alive and still playing music. With the TT Quick uh, still occasionally gets together and puts on a, a show Once here in a while, there. bro. Once in a while. Uh, but, yeah, Metal of Honor, uh, for people who know their, their metal, they know that this album is uh, just an absolute classic. And, dude, I remember me, I was, I, was, I was on the radio at Rutgers University doing the Monday Night Mayhem. Oh, yeah. And I think I met you, like, on Route 18, and you gave me the second album, Sloppy Seconds, right there, <laughs> which is another classic. <laughs> Uh, yeah, which I love. Uh, I remember Dave and I coming up to, to Rutgers, man, when you were on the radio up there. Yeah, so we've known each other a long time. So I, I suggest ha, now has being an accept helped sell some more TT Quick albums over the year? Have people gone and and checked the stuff out? Yeah, I would say so. If you can find them, you yeah. know. But uh, I'm, I'm we, when we're doing signings, you'll always get a couple of Quick albums coming up. So. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's funny. And in the strangest places, too, you know? Right, like where you would never think somebody would be a TT Quick fan or, you know, like I, you know, like yeah. the other night in the... Australia. Olive... Oh, here, here, look what I have. Oh, wow, yeah, yeah. Yeah, or you're in Olive Garden and people are, are you from that metal show? I'm like, yeah, I don't, you shouldn't have recognized me in an Olive Garden, but I got free breadsticks, so that was cool. Uh, <laughs> and you used to always throw in the you always used to throw in the classics when you played in quick i found this old set list mark um so me and rip were uh, having some beers the other night and uh we're going through the list and we you know okay i have the storm metal man you know we know all the abbreviations on here but um there was a couple we couldn't figure out so you got uh method to your madness, you got Queen of the Scene, and then there's this, then you have Bitch there, and we couldn't figure out what song Bitch was. It was probably Son of a Bitch. Oh, okay, so. Oh, Vic, oh, Vic is Victims. No, no. Uh, That's what you're talking about? No, Bitch, right here, underneath, uh, right here. Right there. It was probably Son of a Bitch. Yeah, see, so you were, this is probably from 83, maybe. So you were doing Accept Songs Definitely back then. used to cover it. And then underneath it is Edge. What's that, Mark? We couldn't figure that one out either. Hmm. Edge. That's a good question. Edge. That's a good question. See? Taking, I'm taking you back, taking your brain back to 83, bro. Uh, my brain's not working, though. Yeah, it's too, <laughs> too early. No Budweiser's yet. Um, <laughs> yeah. Still on the coffee. Yeah, but this is great. So this is, this, see, this is, uh, this was his training to be an accept. He was already playing Son of a Bitch back in the quick days. And one of the, before I let you go, one of the, the great honors 
of my life is uh, I got to um, get up and jam some ACDC with you over the summer. Me, you, and, and Greg Smith from Ted Nugent's right. band. I think there's a there's a photo of that that we could uh, pop up there to prove that uh, I know three chords. And uh, <laughs> there you go. There I am, all the way at the end. That was the that was the first outing during the pandemic, actually. Yeah, it was great to see you and Cheryl come down, and and uh, and Greg was like, "You want to jam ACDC? And Mark's like, "You play guitar?" And it was like, oh, "All right, let's see how this goes." But we had a good jam, man. That was cool. So you know, if uh, if Wolf ever decides. You know, he wants to step away from accept, and you want to keep it going. I'm just saying, just keep me in mind as the new guitar <laughs> okay. player, okay? That's all I'm saying. Got it, bro. All right. Good enough. Hey, man, thank you so much for hanging in. The new album, Too Mean to Die, and the video is out now. We'll play that as we're going out. Um, There's a video for the, car, for the title track, too, a uh, lyric video that's out. Yeah, and we're gonna play a little bit as we as we say goodbye. So, too mean to die. So, is this um what is this um is this a song about Nancy Pelosi? What's this all about? <laughs> too mean to die. It's <laughs> a classic, bro. Well, I'm just saying, you know, I don't, you know. They're going into your routine now. <laughs> I do, you know, it's like they say you can interpret a song a lot of different ways. So, you guys have that video? It's basically just about.